Wooster. Let's go play some Wooster and randoms for Badger Mill. I was having a conversation on YouTube. I posted that minnow game from a couple weeks ago where I absolutely destroyed that Embleman's air group, right? And somebody was like, oh, you know, why would you play this ship? Wooster is so much better. And I was like, they do, they, they function differently, right? Wooster can't stealth radar for one. Um, her AA is better and she does get defensive fire, which makes it even crazier. But like, she still can't, she's T, she can't stealth radar. So the destroyers can see you coming. Um, I do have a carrier. Excellent. We love that. Um, Gabe on the opposing team and his Puerto Rico chaser trolling me on the opposing team as well. Feels bad. Two radars, three radars with the black plus planes. We have three radars with the Mizzou. And the Oosters A is pretty solid as well. Okay, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so, who wants to dance? So, here's my problem. Where do I position this ship on this map? Right? This island right in front of me is not a place that I can snuggle up to for very long because eventually there's going to be battleships that push around it. Um, what I'm going to do with. What I'm going to do in the short term, sin with the bits. Thank you very much. What I'm going to do in the short term, I'm going to push up next to it, but I'm going to get flipped to run north. And I'm going to give the kid an AA cover as long as I can to make sure we keep these stupid Chikalov planes off of him because the Chikalov dive bombers in particular are very, very, very irritating. The good news is this guy may yet... Oh, I was really hoping he'd wander my AA range. But he didn't. Sad face. With just the Massa and the Kidda, I doubt we can hold A for very long. So I'm going to get basically put my boat in a position to where I can just run soon as I can. And I'm a 10, 10 detection. I'm a 9-8 detection with a 9-kilometer radar. Okay. So I'm not quite as stealthy as a minnow, and my radar is not quite as long a range. Three battleships running north already. We haven't seen the Iwami or the Bama. If all their battleships go to the same side of the map, then I will be happy to come down here and be a jerk. But until we know that for certain, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm lit. That tells me very little. Iwami has just fired. There's the Iwami. That smoke is out of my range. And this is one of the other things that I don't like about this ship when you compare her to... When you compare her to Minnow, she doesn't handle as well as Minnow either. Oh my god, shut up! I know there's an island there. For pity's sake, come on. I'll still make the Hall of Fame. Booster's holding down the mid cap. Somebody's in smoke down here. Hold on. Hey. You did it. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. Who was that? Mr. October with the resub, thank you much. I'm a little surprised the Ooster backed off mid. I'm not excited about this, honestly. Huh, I should have been expecting those, and I wasn't. Well, he's not going to get anything, so I shouldn't complain too loud. All right, they got the Yugamo up north. That feels good. We got a whole bunch of torpedoes going into that smoke. Let's go work the middle of the map for a bit, although to do so is going to be tempting the Vermont shells, which I'm not excited about.
between the Euster and I, most of those planes should melt. Spaz with the resub. Thank you kindly. No, Gabe. Damn you, Gabe. Go away. God, Gabe, you're so irritating. Would you just quit? I'm tired of getting trolled by my own mods every game. God, it's irritating as balls. Why do I have AP loaded? Are you You're serious crazy. right now? Never mind, he's dead. All right, we can cap B now. And now let's play. Op let's play a little bit of open water Wooster. Should be fun, right? <laughs> Double fire. Vermont's like, nope, 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 nope. I think I'm pissing off the Vermont. Oh, there's there's fire number three. Open water Wooster, ladies and gentlemen, just like the good Lord intended. Just like the good lord intended. Open water Wooster. Well, we own the caps. We have a ship advantage. I like that. Their Schultz is all the way at the bottom of the map, so he's not exactly useful down there. Um Where's their he's their last destroyer? He's their last destroyer. So that's gonna feel kinda bad, honestly. Um I don't really want to go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chaser's Brindisi. That's gonna feel equally bad. I'm not sure why our Schlieffen is pushing when he has absolutely no need to do so. You're welcome, Major. That's good stuff. The Honestly, the blue econ bonuses coming out of those CC crates is one of the best things about him. Yeah, our Schlieffen is just going to die. He's just going to feed himself to the opposing team. He's just pushing when there's just no need for it. I don't understand it. Oh, -ho! Chaser goes out. Our team has taken the lead. There's the Vermont. I know Gabe's pushing up. There's Gabe. Let's see if I can get Gabe to light on fire. There we go. My turn to pick on you, Gabe. Have fun. You big bully. Thought the Bama might be looking for me, but he isn't. He's looking for the Schlieffen. Our victory is in sight. Huh, Wooster's still pretty good. Who knew? Of course, I'm beating up a tier 8 battleship. Feels a little rude. Is he turning in? He's turning in still. He's not even shooting at me, which is a little surprising if I'm honest. Our 
probably gonna shoot at me now. <laughs> I'm broadside to him, his guns are turned. Yeah, he's gonna shoot at me now. I'm trying for this bow fire, I'm not having a lot of luck. There we go, stern fire, I'll take it. I think he's going out with these torps right here, yep. He's out. Schultz is on A, Awami's backing him up, two ship lead. All right, feels okay. Yank Yeager, you got to whisper 4BF. 4BF, do me a favor, wave one more in chat. One more time in chat for Yank Yeager there. Schlieffen got the Vermont with torpedoes. That was a delayed kill. Wow. Not at all what I was expecting, ladies and gentlemen. Gabe running away from my HE shells. Oh, he's so scared. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. He's going to kill me now. He's going to be like, that raptor guy needs to die. Yep, here it comes. See if he can catch me in mid-turn. Looks like he might. Looks like he might get me. Might get me. Nope, mostly overpens. Feels bad. Now, one of the things that I do with my Wooster is I play that legendary module in slot six because I like the recharge time on my AA. It brings your AA and your radar back up quicker. What's up, Argento? How you doing? Um, so that's in like that's a de the deliberate choice for how I want to play the ship. Um, yeah, that's not going to be a great showing in terms of damage, but I was okay. I was competitive at least. Oh wait, who was? Oh, I, I forgot to comp that Missouri, um, that Montana, a few games ago. Damn it. Oh well. Um, oh, so close to a witherer. Look at that. Look at that. Less than 3,000 from a witherer. Jeez, Gabe, you couldn't have just taken a few more shells like a good mod? Man, rude. Um, I'm waiting for the build, the ship build to come back up. You're rude, Gabe. <laughs> All right, so. One of the things that I do when I build this ship out is I take, I like this mod on my Wooster because when you combine it with, so you've got minus 20% on your AA prep time and then the same thing over here, minus 40% means I can focus my AA sector every six seconds. That doesn't sound like a whole, that, like the cooldown time like is pretty noteworthy because I'm getting... 55 seconds out of my defensive... I'm sorry, I'm getting 40 seconds out of my defensive fire. It comes back in less than a minute. And when it's up, I get to focus it six times. Right? Because I can focus it every six seconds, I can push the focus button. Or actually, no, that's not that's not right. I think it's three times, right? Is it three times? Yeah, because it lasts for 10 seconds and it cooled down. So a cycle is 16 seconds. So I get to focus it three times instead of just twice. Um... So when a carrier hangs around between the defensive fire and the focus and a 7-kilometer A bubble, I really like this build on my Wooster. Now, the other the other, the other, other thing that you could attempt in this ship, like you've seen me do with my Minotaur if you wanted, is this, because I actually do get defensive fire. All right, so this would basically mean that when I push defensive fire, I get way more flak. I go to, I go to 9 flak puffs as opposed to the 7 base, Okay. What I don't like about this is that it basically forces me into taking Superintendent, I feel like, right? With the Legendary mod, I get plus one of all my consumables. 
So it's saving me three skill points, buffing my AA priority sector, and buffing how quickly my defensive fire, radar, and everything comes back. Even my heal, right? Even my heal comes back in only every 60 seconds. So I really, really like this on Wooster. I think this is an excellent uh, unique upgrade, legendary upgrade, whatever whatever you want to call it. So this is how I play the ship. Because then I can take those three points and spend them somewhere else. Like I spend them on more health. Um, obviously, I've got IFHE to go with my concealment. So there's a lot, there's a, I like this build and I'll, I'll take my last two points when I finally have them and I'll dump them down here into the into, into demolition expert, which will give me a, an 8% fire chance all in with IFHE, which is really nice. Um, in theory, Nunez, you can have five heals. I can have six, five, five, and five. If you want to go with superintendent, I don't think it's necessary. Personal opinion, right? Wooster is fragile. The odds of you living long enough to get use out of five heals is pretty slim. The odds of you living long enough to get use out of six defensive fires and five radars, pretty slim. But having the extra around is really handy, in my opinion. And when you combine it with the ability to cycle your AA focus sector faster and all of your consumables recharging that much quicker, I love it. I love it. So that's that's how I build this ship, and that's how I play.